All right, so this is AP Classroom Unit 3, number problem number 7. So you're given a graph and you're asked to find the derivative of g, a g derivative of g, so g prime, and they tell you that g is the inverse of f. So I'm going to write g is f inverse of x. And we talked about in an earlier section that we had a formula for the derivative of an inverse. And when we have the derivative of an inverse, it's 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. So what I want is to find 1 over f prime of f inverse of x. And I'm told on the graph of f, there's a point 2 comma 4. Now, but this is going to the graph of f, right? So, if I'm trying to find f inverse, and the point 2, 4 is on the graph of f, then on the graph of f inverse, the point 4, comma 2 exists. So, if I were trying to find the derivative of g, and I have f inverse of 4, then I could find g prime of 4 That would look like that. And then f inverse of 4 is 2. Which looks like that. And what we're given in the, the problem is the graph of f itself, not the graph of f inverse. So if I'm looking at f prime of 2, if I look at this graph, that means the slope of a tangent line at x equals 2, and they've given you a line that's tangent. So if I look at this line and I find another grid point that it passes through, say here, I can actually count that slope out, up 3, right 2. So the slope of that tangent line is 3 halves, so f prime of 2 is 3 halves, and therefore 1 over 3 halves is two-thirds. So my statement then will be that g prime of 4 is equal to two-thirds. Now again, the reason it's not g prime of 2 is because the information we were given here was based on f, and we're asked about f inverse. So that's plugging in 4 for the x, not 2 for the x. And then the reasoning behind the slopes comes from this argument here, 